Hello, my name is Peter Phelps from Phelps CD, and I'm going to do a really quick tutorial on something that I didn't know I could do in FreeCAD. <laughs> and it's been something that it's come up several times when I was trying to do different designs and I couldn't figure out how to do a tapered helix. Now, this is going to sound really funny, but it's really, really simple to do. In part, create a helix. I think what it was is I was thinking the angle was like some of the other angles that are in, in FreeCAD. Like if you wanted to, so helix. This angle here. I didn't know that that changes the angle of the circle. I was thinking it was changing the angle, like limiting the angle of the, of the helix to maybe being just a certain amount, not a 360 circle. So let's try a pitch of five, a height. I'm going to make it really big, 25, radius, we'll make that. 30. And now this here 20 degree angle will create the helix so that it's tapered. So it's at an angle. Now, for some reason, you can't stick in negative and put in the number for the angle. It doesn't want to work. So, if you needed this to be the other direction, just flip it after you're done modeling the part itself. I'm going to create a sketch. C plane, say okay. Zoom in here. This is just modeled just like you would pretty much any other th if you wanted to do like a thread. Let's see. make a spring if you put a circle whatever you want to do okay I close that let's go back to the original thing back over to part and we'll create a sweep uh, create solid and front net say okay oops sorry Select the, select the helix and then say okay. I like to make the sketch disappear. You can make the helix disappear. And so there you've got your tapered, tapered rod, object. This would be like a thread for something that's tapered. Like I said, if you wanted to, you would just flip it by rotating it 180 degrees on X or Y to get it to taper, to go the other direction so that the larger side is on the bottom. So that's the quick introduction of how to make a tapered thread or a tapered spring. In fact, I may go back to my... Um, 
battery mock-ups and update the uh, lantern because all I did is you put, add a couple of cones. Now that I know that I can make a tapered helix, I can create the spring part on top of those that to actually represent that instead of just this. So that's really, I, uh, that was so easy. I, I just don't know why it took me so long to figure that one out or find the information on that. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps some of you. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.